Consider that it was someone's job to plan this. A photo op that just shouts, we're buddies, we're not so different. The importance of the Canada-Mexico relationship cannot be overstated. If you think that's awfully high praise, listen to the potential Justin Trudeau sees in this relationship. Better collaboration, uh, better partnerships are a path to prosperity. Um, and that's a, a compelling example that we want to showcase at a time where, unfortunately, people are uh, prone to turning inwards. Mexico's foreign minister so, agrees. Uh, I think we should all be talking about um, how in this world no country can face its challenges alone. Maybe that sounds a bit warm and fuzzy, but the crux of the argument is that increased trade leading to more jobs is the best way to counter this kind of talk. Never ever forget NAFTA. Just never ever forget it because you know what it's done and I know what it's done. And in touring, I've seen the devastation. So suddenly, the idea of working together is a very political message. Over and over again, Canada and Mexico made a show of their friendship. Canada announced that as of December 1st, it will no longer require Mexicans to get a visa to come here. That's despite warnings from bureaucrats of risks, including fake passports and more bogus asylum claims. Mexico said it would lift restrictions on Canadian beef. Remember, Mexico has a middle class now of 44 million people. That's bigger than the entire Canadian population. And even more important is this is a country with whom we want to bring ourselves in alignment because we don't know what's coming after January 20th next year after the results of the Amer uh, American election. We need a partner who thinks like we do. But even with all that happy talk, there are still issues, including Mexico's struggles to improve its human rights record. The latest example, the protesters from a teachers union killed in a conflict with police. It is important that we, uh, we move forward towards uh, uh, greater respect and, and defense of human rights. And that's, uh, that's part of the things that uh, friends work together on well. Now, tomorrow, this really becomes the Obama show as he meets with the two other amigos and addresses Parliament. The White House says that after that Brexit vote, the idea of unity is really going to be front and center here. Peter? All right, Catherine, thank you.